Everyone knows that Hollywood's built on powerful personalities, and you can't be a movie star without a bit of an ego, but you'd be surprised to learn how many famous screen teams downright hated each other. Remember to subscribe and join the notification squad for more of our videos. Do it! And share the video with a friend whose mind would be blown by 10 actor feuds you would never imagine happening. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Jim Carrey vs. Tommy Lee Jones Both the Riddler and Two-Face were out of control as the villains of Batman Forever, so you would think they'd get along off set too. But Jim Carrey tells the story of running into Tommy Lee Jones at a restaurant while filming and seeing the elder actor's face drain of color. Carrey was confused, but Jones explained, saying he hated his co-star since he could not sanction his buffoonery. At least he said it to his face. Channing Tatum vs. Alex Pettifer Audiences knew that Channing Tatum was the star of Magic Mike, but his on-screen protege, Alex Pettifer, had a different idea. Tatum was against casting the actor due to his bad boy reputation, since he'd put his own money into the film, and turned out to be right. Pettifer has since admitted that he could have been more respectful, but when he screwed one of Tatum's friends out of four months' rent before the film's reshoots, this feud was set in stone. No surprise, Pettifer wasn't invited back for the sequel. Bill Murray vs. Chevy Chase Believe it or not, these two comedy legends only appeared together in a single film, Caddyshack, which is why director Harold Ramis panicked when he realized the two never had a scene together. But it was for good reason. Chevy Chase and Bill Murray had a feud going all the way back to their Saturday Night Live days, but both bit the bullet while filming their scene, written completely on the spot, which is why it's completely separate from the rest of the movie. Brad Pitt vs. Harrison Ford The Devil's Own may not be remembered as a Hollywood classic, but the production was messy on a truly uncommon level. Before it was even decided if the movie was going to focus on Harrison Ford or Brad Pitt, it entered production, meaning the director, the stars, and the studio were at odds. Creative disputes over who would be the bad guy in the end led to delays, rewrites, and budget troubles. Pitt made his concerns well known at the time, and Harrison Ford later admitted that even in the best case, he and his younger co-star would have had little in common. C-3PO vs. R2-D2 They may be the dynamic duo of the Star Wars universe, but Anthony Daniels and Kenny Baker, the actors inside the actual droids, downright hated each other. The two rarely spoke to one another on set, for obvious reasons, but the feud hit a new level when Daniels claimed he was the real star of the twosome, and that R2-D2 could have been a bucket and no one would have cared. Baker was rightly offended, but would later say that once he realized Daniels treated everyone that way, it was an easier pill to swallow. Gillian Anderson vs. David Duchovny The duo of Fox Mulder and Dana Scully made The X-Files a household name, with their chemistry and opposing personalities the main reasons for the success, so fans would never have guessed that the two actually couldn't stand each other by the end of their run. Both Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny admit that spending so much time with one person can drive any relationship apart, and Anderson's struggle for equal pay behind the scenes couldn't have helped. Thankfully, their rivalry eventually turned to friendship, with the two as close as siblings today. Nathan Fillion vs. Stana Kadic. The ABC series relied on the undeniable charm of Nathan Fillion to succeed, with his leading lady Stana Kadic unable to resist. Over Castle's run, the two heroes would grow close and even marry, but behind the scenes, things weren't so sunny. Rumors of a rift between the two leads started early, but eventually proved true. It's impossible to say that the two actually disliked working together, but the final season split their characters apart, and another season was planned without Kadic, before the show was completely cancelled. The truth really is stranger than fiction. Shia LaBeouf vs. Tom Hardy Controversy tends to follow Shia LaBeouf wherever he goes, so rumors that he had gotten into a fight with his co-star Tom Hardy on the set of Lawless were easy to believe. To stay in character as a bootlegger, LaBeouf got a little familiar with Moonshine, which may have convinced him that picking a fight with Hardy was a good idea, and later bragging that he put Hardy in his place. It was Hardy who got the last laugh though, claiming LaBeouf was terrifyingly scary and a bad, bad boy to a room full of laughing reporters. Wesley Snipes vs. Everybody Before Wesley Snipes ran into trouble with the IRS, he was causing it as the star of the Blade trilogy. Stories from the set describe Snipes as a diva, angry and suspicious that Ryan Reynolds was being given better lines, or that his director, David S. Goyer, was a racist. Reynolds and his co-stars wound up filming most of their roles without Snipes present, which turned out to be better for the film's comedy. As for Goyer, he pretended to hire a local biker gang as security, which put his star's antics and calls to the studio to have him replaced to an end. The Rock vs. Vin Diesel Fans may have thought that Fast and Furious stars Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson only started as enemies in front of the camera, but it seems truer than most realized. When his last week of filming the eighth installment kicked off, The Rock took to social media to thank his female co-stars, and call out the men who'd shown themselves to be unprofessional candy asses. It didn't take long for people to realize it was star Vin Diesel he was referring to, promising that the anger and boiling blood in their scenes wasn't entirely an act. Those are the best-known feuds and on-set rivalries we can name. 
but which ones have we missed? And the answer to the movie emoji is, did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one.